Hello, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday, March 31st. It is the last day of the month of March, and tomorrow we will be into April. But for today, we are going to continue with exclamation points. So we will identify and use an exclamation mark in a sentence. We will write a sentence with an exclamation mark. And this is important so we can become better writers. We can know how our characters are feeling. So before we get started, let's review our exclamation marks. We have tons of them here. An exclamation mark is a sentence that can show excitement, like, whoa, cool, wow, no way. But it can also show anger. So I have my happy self over here, yay, exclamation point. But I have my angry self as well that could use my exclamation points. An exclamation is a sentence that shows strong feeling. It ends with an exclamation point. An exclamation can help you express a strong feeling, such as excitement, fear, anger, or surprise. The words this, that, these, and those help to make exclamations clearer. That movie was great. There's our exclamation point. Get those attentoscopes out to search for those exclamation points. We are locked out of the house. Do you see the exclamation point? I see it. Time is running out. Exclamation point. Hopefully you found that with your attentoscope. Oh, goodness. All right. So how can we use exclamations in our writing? When you revise, which means go back and check your writing, like when we use cups, try using exclamations to show feeling. And each one with an exclamation point. So here's a statement. Let me read you this sentence with no exclamation point. I liked that book. Is that a good sentence? Yeah, it's still a good sentence, but we could make it even better. So let's read it with exclamation or with feeling. That book was amazing. Which one do you like better? I liked that book or that book was amazing. I like number two better. I love exclamation points. So today we are going to practice with our exclamation point. We are going to write a sentence with an exclamation point. The first one you're going to do with me and then you're going to do one on your own. So you're going to need your pencil and your journal. So go ahead, put me on pause and let's get those things out. All right, boys and girls, thanks for getting your journal and your pencil out. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to put the date March, so it is the third month, dash 31, the 31st, or the last day of March, in 2021, so 2021. All right, so I'm going to put a number one here. You need to put a number one as well. And I am going to start my sentence with an exclamation. So, hmm, maybe I am walking into the classroom and I want somebody to save me a seat. And I'm going to say, please save me a seat. That's my sentence. All right, so let's go ahead and write it. P -o -o E's is going to be E A. All right, so I've got pl E, and actually the E in please is going to be E A. It's a really funky word. So pl E, and then there's a silent sneaky E at the end. Please space save A. Do you 
you know what's going to come after the V to make the A say its name? It's our sneaky E. Please save space me. We should know how to spell that one. That's a sight word. M-E. Me. Oh, I don't have enough room. I'm going to go underneath. A. Seat. So I'm going to sound that one out too. And just like our please, we're going to have a vowel team of E and A for E. E. E A. Please save me a seat. Okay, I think I'm done. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look over my writing checklist to see if I missed anything. So the first one says use a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence. Okay, so I see this has a capital T. So let me go. Ch uh oh. What do you guys notice about my writing? Is that P capital? Is that an uppercase P? No, it's not. Miss Moore, you need to change that to capital. All sentences begin with a capital letter. All right, so I need to go change that. I'm going to erase that, and I'm going to put a capital uppercase P. Do you guys have that? Did you catch my mistake? Did you get it before me and make sure you had a capital? If you did, that's awesome. You were paying really good attention. All right, so please save me a seat with a capital P. Awesome. Now, did I use finger spaces? I did use finger spaces. I'm really good at my finger spaces. So I bet you're good at it too. So make sure you have those spaces in between your words. Now my next one says use ending punctuation. All right, so I could have a question mark, I could have a period, or I could have an exclamation. But I know that my teacher wants me to use an exclamation point today. So let me go check. Please save me a seat. Oh my goodness, Miss Moore, what are you doing? I forgot an exclamation point, and I know my teacher wants me to use an exclamation point today. So I need to make sure I put that. So I'll do my line and then my dot for an exclamation point. Did you guys already put your exclamation point? You did? Awesome work. All right, and then the last one says, use the word wall to help you spell. Well, I really tried to pull my words apart and really sound them out as best as I could. It might not be perfect, I don't know, but I think my teacher will be able to read it because I really slowed down and sounded my words out and thought about what letters made what sound. So I think I am good to go. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and put a number two. And now you are gonna write your own sentence with an exclamation point. So maybe you're really excited and you're thinking, I love blank. You could write that sentence. Maybe you're thinking, Stop yelling at me. That could be a sentence. Um, maybe you're just super excited about something this weekend or today, and you could write that as your sentence. Or maybe you're surprised. Ah! Or maybe you're scared. But whatever it is, you can write your sentence. Sound it out as best as you can. Make sure you check over your writing checklist so that you have what you need and that you get a 100 because you did everything that the checklist says. And then just make sure you really look around the room or slow down to try and sound off those words. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you tried your best to sound out those words. Once you do that and you double checked and you have all of these things, you will write your own and you will take a picture. So you are going to upload your assignment to Google Classroom and turn it into your teacher. And I think one more thing that would be really good to do is Let's go ahead and circle our exclamation points. I really want my teacher to see that I know where those exclamation points are. So I've got my first one. 
And hopefully you have a second one at the end of your second sentence. Awesome. Well, if you are all done, take that picture. And remember that exclamation marks can be used to show lots of different emotions. And we like to use them so we know how our characters are feeling in our stories. Bye, you guys. I hope you have a great long weekend break, and I will see you on Monday.